here we are looking at the pump and the discharger line coming out of the top of the pump. In front of that is uh, an auger head which has tines, um, not unlike the ones on the harvester, the front end of the harvester. And as all that rotates, they actually cut and cut the weeds and then uh, they'll also cut through the mud as well. You can see mud falling off there now. Uh, the guys are out now moving the pipeline, so we're going to take a run through the uh, weeds that are ahead of us here in the mouth of the creek, which they're actually uh, clearing the weeds and dredging the creek as well to about five feet deep. Um, these, at the moment, the discharge, floating discharge line is in the way, so they're moving it out of the way, and then we'll get going after that. This is a um, VMI mini dredge. Um, seems to be quite a versatile little dredge. There's the discharge line coming off the back end of the dredge. And it heads across there. You can see where some of the initial weeds have been cut away in the channel we have now. And you can see the stern line, which is at to an anchor point at the after end, across the lake actually, uh, where they've come through the weeds which are not much out here, but as you get further back in, the way uh, they're tracking now, um, they get quite substantial. These are emergent weeds. This is the operator's cabin. It looks to be operator friendly, very operator friendly. through the forehead screen to the aft end of the ladder, the digging ladder, which is pivoted right there at the deck. Uh, but this is a um, one and a half man operation, or one two man operation. This is the after end of the ladder, you can see the pivot point there. And then as we go forward and swing around the, the ladder structure, this is a very economical little bridge from all appearances. The hydraulic cylinders which raise and lower the ladder, one port and one starboard. And you see once again the pump with the discharge pipe so the the pump is down the ladder, type pump is not in the hull, and it's um, discharge pipes coming over the top there, and haven't had any trouble with it at all. It's been here for about a year now, and operating in this gamook and weeds, and uh, they, they speak quite highly of it. Here again is the pump, and the pump Hydraulic drive, pump drive shaft there, um, the gland, the pump gland, and sealed at the back end there. Very simple. Once again, the cutter head is just a bunch of rotating tines. You can see some weeds caught up in that already, but they say that they do pump the weeds without any trouble but they may have to get some slurry in there to assist the pumping but you can see the weeds up ahead there where they're heading and they're becoming more concentrated as they go further up the creek the creek is actually, according to them, blocked with weeds and, and sediment. And there. Uh, and so on the side.
built a part. It's not too bad operating dredges. No, it's not bad. I mean, except for weather like this. Yeah. As long as it ain't lightning, I'm, I'm fine. I can. Probably 60, 30. 